Hello, I am Sean Teal, and uh, here are my top five moments of Skins ever. Moment number one for me was probably probably something that uh, affected me, but definitely I didn't affect, which was um, the trailer for the first series. I think that paved the way for a lot of what TV is now, a lot of a, a lot of what teenage drama is now, um, and uh, and I think it had like a profound effect to me just because it was something that was so unseen before. And I think it, it obviously I fell in love with the show because of it, and it's so, certainly a great start to the show. But um, I think it just yeah it depicted a lot of what Skins was going to be and how it, and how powerful it could be. And, um, and, it, and I mean, look at Skins now, it paved the way for a lot of great actors and, and, and a lot of great writers and a lot of talent and, and a lot of great TV itself. So I think that trailer for me really like started off uh, uh, my belief in, in Skins as a show being something really important. Moment number two for me um, would be series five, Gen 3. Uh, the episode that Jeff wrote for my character Nick when I smashed up that kitchen. <laughs> Albeit very fun smashing up things with golf clubs, obviously that's going to be enjoyable no matter who you are, but um, I think Offset, that was one of the most intense days I've ever had. Um, I think uh, I, we were tired, we'd had, we'd shot the whole episode and, and actually, luckily enough, we were shooting sort of the penultimate scenes of that, or, or the, the sort of climax of those scenes on the final day. But it was sort of tight, we were looking at a lot of, a lot of safety things, a lot of, a lot of stress and, 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 and it required quite an intense sort of input from all of us. <laughs> Moment number three, again, um, it's a selfish one for me, but it was, it was, it was in series six, and it was again something that me and Jeff worked on together. Luckily, me and Jeff got to work twice together, as did uh, Jack Clough, um, the great Jack Clough. But um, it was um, a scene with um, Antonia Clark, who played Carly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Morning, sleepyhead. Morning. What are you doing? Watching you sleep. <laughs> I like it. That was just, in general, a funny day, because it was one of those scenes that was so... It, it wasn't, there were so many beats to it and it was, it was meant to be so incredibly awkward and so, um, and obviously humorous and I couldn't knock Corpse and neither could Antonio for a certain period of time and, 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 and for me that scene was just one of my greatest moments because it was so comfortable and so silly and so, um, so beautifully Nick. Spend the day with me, please. I'd love to, but... Oh, come on Nick, we can have so much fun, we can do drugs, do acid in the zoo, fuck on the downs. Come on, we can do anything, anything you like. One day, please. Moment number four was a week long, maybe 10 day long moment, and that was Morocco. <laughs> we were taking the show to different heights. Not, not newer, more brilliant heights, just different, different heights to what it was before, and uh, in, in story and in, and in location and in depth. And, um, I think being out there really changed everything. We were working in really hot conditions, and but uh, on a smaller crew with tighter times, and a lot of vehicles and a lot of complicated things. And we had some amazing directors shoot some extra stunt scenes, and and it was a really intense episode um, where what you see on camera is eight to ten friends, you know, having fun together, and being on holiday is pretty much what we were doing anyway. It really, I think that really helped. And we, we became a lot closer from that. And, um, and Morocco, obviously, as a, as a memory, is going to be great. It's great to work in different climates and different locations. And, and, um, and it was just a generally good laugh. It was wicked. wicked. And, um, and obviously, we had Joe, Joe Cole and James Burrows as always worthy, more than worthy additions to the group. And um, I think that whole episode was a great memory. <laughs> My fifth and final and probably happiest moment I've ever had on Skins um, was an intense, emotional, deep um, and oddly comfortable series of moments that I had where if I was ever messing up my episode in any way, I just feel 
on the back of my neck and the side of my face, this beard. And nothing else, just, you've got one chance, mate, in the back of my ear. But just the beard itself, and it really, with the hot breath and, 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 the, and the chicken Kiev from lunch, I really got this sort of spur of emotion and, and dedication towards the character. And that was, and, and, it's, and it's had a direct effect on my life now because I've gone and grown it the same. And that is uh, thanks to the wonderful Jeff Bustle's beard. As you can see here, the finest beard that ever was. So thanks for that. I know, it's good to hold on to in those special <laughs> moments, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you've still got the chicken Kiev breath, I love that. I know the chicken Kiev breath, that comes with the, you know, I, 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 that's actually just a natural thing. Oh, is that a natural thing? Yeah. Yeah. If only yeah. Seb was here, then the three of us could all have like a proper sort of like uh, Levan family love it. Yeah, we'd be, we'd be writing poems and singing ballads of joy. Leon could look on in the corner oh. disapprovingly. <laughs> you know what, that was sort of my favourite moment of Leon, that man was hilarious. He was good, he was, wasn't he? He was a good laugh. Yeah. But there you go, so Jeff's beard, now my beard, is one of my favourite moments on screen. Go beards! <laughs>